Hello everyone. Welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Hariharna. In this video, you'll learn how to install RabbitMQ with a single command without complex steps on Windows and then how to start using it. So let's get started. First, search for RabbitMQ on Google and click on installing on Windows. So if you see, there are many ways to install RabbitMQ, but to keep your life simple, you can use Chocolatey package manager to install RabbitMQ with a single command because it will automatically install all prerequisites and also configure relevant plugins. So for that click on this and you will be having this command. So first go to PowerShell and right click and run as administrator. So you need to first check whether you have a Choco or Chocolatey installed. So using this Choco-V you can see whether chocolatey is installed or not. If that is not installed, then you follow these steps first. So first, if you see the prerequisites, we need a OS which is Windows 7 or above and also Windows Server 2003 or above. And also we need a PowerShell with administrative privileges. So now open PowerShell with admin mode. So right click on it and run as admin. And once you have done that, open chocolatey.org and here on the top right you can see install and here you will see the steps that you need to follow so i'll just copy this so once it is copied you can enter and we can see how it is extracting and installing so within few seconds it has installed so we can check whether it has been installed or not so for that I'll just use choco-v. So once the chocolatey is installed and available, so you can use the following command such as choco install rabbit mq and enter. So now it will ask for to run a script. So I can use a so that it will run all the scripts. So it will first download and then install one by one because Erlang is the prerequisite. It is already installing that Erlang. And then RabbitMQ is also being downloaded and it, because it is already downloaded once, it can get it from the cache and then it is installing RabbitMQ. So here you can see the RabbitMQ plugins also got installed. That is RabbitMQ management and also this has been configured. So that is the power of this chocolatey. And within a single command, you have done the prerequisites as well as plugin installation. And if you see here, there is some changes in the path. So you have to restart this PowerShell to take that effect. So I'll close this. So now if you search RabbitMQ, you'll be able to see start, stop, remove, as well as sbin. So this command prompt, if you click on it, it will automatically open an administrator mode command prompt. And here you can type rabbit mqctl.bat help. So if you get this help properly, which means that this is properly working. So if you are getting any kind of errors, then you can use choco uninstall rabbit mq first and then reinstall it using choco install rabbit mq. So now it is working. So what you can do is you can directly go to your browser and paste localhost colon 15672 and it will open RabbitMQ username password page. So here you need to use guest and password is also guest. So if you enter that you will be able to see the overview of my node. What are the processes, memory, disk space, etc. And also you can see the connections that are available right now and channels, what are the different exchanges, queues and streams. And if you want to change the administrator username and password. And then if you want to stop this service, then you can directly go for rabbit MQ in the search and click on stop. So it will stop this service. And then you can see this is not available. And then if you want to again start it, you can use RabbitMQ and then start. So it is refreshed. So that is how 
you can install the RabbitMQ and start using it. And that's it for today's video. You have just learned how to install RabbitMQ and start using it on Windows. If you found this video informative, please type helpful in the comment section below and smash that like button. Check out my other videos on MQTT advanced topics like Retain, LWT, Clean Session, Quality of Service from the top right corner or in the end screen. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another interesting video.